Tracking, alerting, protecting. This is WKYT This Morning. Now at 5 a.m. on WKYT, a man wanted in several Kentucky counties has been arrested and charged now with more than a dozen crimes. Coming up, we'll tell you what's going on with that. A man's recovering after driving his car off a bridge and into a Woodford County Creek. Coming up, we'll tell you who discovered the crash. And Lincoln County officials trying to find an arsonist. One of those stories and more and breaking news as it happens. It's coming up on WKYT This Morning. Hey, good morning to you and welcome. Good to have you with us on this Thursday as we go rolling through the weekend toward that weekend. I'm Bill Bryant. And I'm Rebecca Smith. Welcome in. A big day yesterday and the day before. We can just kind of take a take a breather, right? <laughs> Long week for the election. I yeah. guess that's what you're saying. Yeah, and uh, we're anticipating that as we head toward the weekend, uh, you know, gusty winds continue this sort of uh, early wintry feel that we've had. Uh, let's check in with meteorologist Micah Harris. He's tracking it for us in our first alert weather center. Yeah, and those winds are picking up because that front's trying to make its way on through, but it hasn't fully made its way uh, out the door. As you can see, we're still holding on to those showers over toward the east southeastern zones, and once that front pushes on through, we'll get the wraparound moisture, which you see up toward Indianapolis, and that will swing in later on. Uh, but until then, our temperatures really aren't budging all that much. There you are with the rain from Paintsville and Johnson County all the way to Breathitt County and into London, and this will continue to slide and move on out of the area here in the next uh, several hours. It'll take some time, but look at the cool air back toward Indiana. That's going to filter in, and you'll see these temperatures slowly but surely uh, make their way uh, southbound as we head toward the afternoon. So we'll see temperatures actually cooler than what you're seeing right here in the low to mid 50s. We're at 56 in London, 54 there in Somerset, along with Richmond and also Moorhead. My friends in Cynthiana, good morning to you guys. Holding on to around 53 degrees, and then we see Frankfurt at 52. So today's forecast right around 50. Like I said, it drops. That hit and miss rain. We get colder in the days to come, and I'll show you that forecast coming up. Okay, and we'll see you in just a bit. We thank you. Let's get to the news. A man is recovering this morning after he drove his car right into a creek. This happened just before 1 o'clock on Old Frankfurt Pike in Woodford County, and a police officer saw it all happen. Debbie County's Whitney Wetzel is live from UK Hospital. What happened, Whitney? Good morning, everyone. Well, that man was taken here to UK Hospital. However, police say he is expected to be okay. The man accidentally drove off of a bridge and into a creek around 1 o'clock this morning. It happened on Old Frankfurt Pike, not far from Versailles. Police say the driver rounded a curve too quickly and flipped his car over right into the creek. An officer was stationed on the other side of the bridge when this happened and actually witnessed the crash. That officer immediately called in other emergency responders to help. They were able to get the driver out to safety, but of course it took several hours to get his car out of the stream. Officials say they're not worried about any of the fluids getting into the water. At this point, they're not sure whether this accident was weather related. Live in Lexington, Whitney Watzel, WKYT. Whitney, thank you very much. You knew this morning a suspect involved in a Lexington murder earlier this year has been indicted. Our partners at the Herald Leader report that a juvenile suspect, now identified as Damian Sanders, has been charged with second degree manslaughter in the death of Antonio Franklin. The 21 year old was found shot to death in Duncan Park back in April. The indictment handed down on Monday also charges three other juveniles, Brian Brown, Nasheem Dixon, and William Dixon, for their roles in Franklin's death. Laurel County deputies have arrested a man they say was wanted in several Kentucky counties for a multitude of crimes. Deputies arrested 34-year-old Randolph Boswell after they say he tried to take off in his car near London. WKYT's Mark Barber is at our live desk now with a look at Boswell's alleged crimes. Good morning, Mark. Good morning, Bill. The 34-year-old fugitive is now facing charges in six counties after investigators say they tracked him down and arrested him in London yesterday afternoon. In Rowan County, deputies tell us Randolph Boswell was involved in organized crime. Investigators say Boswell and several other people posed as contractors installing lighting protection. We're told he was able to scam an 85-year-old man out of $1,000. And in Pulaski County, deputies tell us he stole $1,800 from someone by posing as a telephone service repairman. Boswell is also facing several charges, including theft by deception in Harlan County and McCreary County. He was also wanted in Carter County after investigators tell us he didn't show up in court to answer for numerous traffic violations. Deputies say when they found Boswell in London yesterday, he tried to escape, so he is also charged with fleeing or evading police in Laurel County. 
from the live desk. Mark Barber, WKYT. In just two days, four fires have damaged homes in Lincoln County, and now investigators say they think all of those fires were set on purpose. State police say the fires were set between early Friday morning and Saturday afternoon in the McKinney community of Lincoln County. A state trooper says the fires were random, but whoever set them was methodical. No one was home at the time that these fires took place. Uh, everybody was gone. Two of the houses uh, are currently being lived in. Uh, one of them was abandoned, and the other one is, is, was in the process of being cleaned up so it could be rented out again. The Arson Task Force is offering a $1,000 reward for information leading to an arrest and conviction. Police have a mystery on their hands this morning as they try to figure out what led to a deadly shooting. It happened yesterday afternoon in a parking lot just north of Prestonsburg. State police say a man died in the shooting. His name has not been released, but investigators think he was in his 40s. A neighbor reported hearing two gunshots and then saw the man lying on the ground. Police have not said if they have any suspects. After investigating, we may now know what led to last week's unmanned rocket explosion. The CEO of Orbital Science Corporation says the engines are likely to blame. David Thompson said during a conference call that the evidence strongly suggests one of the two main engines failed just seconds after ignition. He said Orbital will most likely stop using the 1970s era Russian engines since they have proven to be unreliable. The time is 5.06 on WKYT this morning, and Kentucky Senator Mitch McConnell says it's time to fix the U.S. Senate so Republicans and Democrats in Washington can find some common ground. Senator McConnell won a sixth term in office, and he is now in line to become Senate Majority Leader. On Wednesday, he said the Senate needs to pass an energy plan as well as tax reform and a trade agreement. He said he has spoken with President Obama and other Democratic leaders. All of whom I think um, have the view that we ought to see what areas of agreement there are and see if we can make some progress for the country. I always like to remind people that divided government is not unusual in this country. We've had it frequently, I think maybe even more often than not since World War II. The last Kentuckian to be Senate Majority Leader was Democrat Alvin Barkley back in the 1940s. President Barack Obama said despite party differences, he thinks he can have a productive relationship with Senator McConnell. He had this to offer. Uh, I would enjoy having some uh, Kentucky bourbon uh, with Mitch McConnell. Uh, I don't know what his preferred drink is. All right, that comment made Kentucky bourbon a trending topic online. Good news there. The president of the Kentucky D Distillers Association said he's been swamped with phone calls, emails, and tweets. Eric Gregory suggests the president and Senator McConnell hold a bourbon summit in Kentucky. And this year we're celebrating the 50th anniversary of the congressional resolution that declared bourbon America's only native spirit. So we kind of considered our patriotic duty uh, to step up and serve our country literally and, and make this summit happen. Gregory says the Distillers Association plans to send a care package to the President and Senator McConnell with 40 to 50 of Kentucky's finest bourbons inside.